Today I'm going to show you how easy it is to make your own fruit leathers using two of our what we call power tools, the deluxe cooking blender and the deluxe air fryer. So um, first I'm going to just show you, I'm actually making my own concoction of pineapple and raspberry. I actually had both frozen and so I just set them out kind of um, guesstimated to the best that I could with using the kitchen scale on ounces. And all I'm going to do is just puree that ahead of time in the blender. And then I'm just going to pour it into each of the wells of the um, fruit leather trays, which come as a set of three. And they're silicone. They do have a nice wire inside for stability, but they're easy. Literally, you can just kind of pop them right out. So I'll show you that here in a second. With the blender, literally just turn the side button on. You'll see that it says lid because it doesn't recognize that the lid is on until I lock it. You'll hear it talk to me. And for here, I'm just going to set it probably on pulse. And I could, or I could do custom blend, and then I can also choose the um, speed. So one all the way up to nine. We're not gonna go that high, so let's start with maybe three. And you just push the button, and there it goes, and it will go continuously. crank it up just to make sure that I have it nice and great, but it looks pretty smooth from what I can tell. And how fast was that? My fruit leathers are essentially done, except for the dehydrating part. So, let me see if I can angle this a bit further so you can see the trays that way okay and i'm just going to take about a tablespoon of puree and in no particular non-messy fashion i'm just gonna add those in there and then just kind of spread it out along the measurement of each well And then these are going to go in on the dehydrate function of the air fryer for about, depending on the fruit, about 10 to 12 hours. So usually I would be doing this at night and just leave it going while I'm in bed. But um, I was having a hankering for them and wanted to show them off this morning. So we'll just get it started early. And as soon as they're done, I'll take a picture of them. Anyway, so you get the idea there. So that's what they look like to get started. And then we'll go into the deluxe air fryer and I'll show you that in just a minute. Okay, so now I have moved me and the fruit roll up or fruit leathers to get ready to go into the deluxe air fryer. The Deluxe Air Fryer has three rows that are um, able to be used at any given time. You get two trays with the air fryer, but you can always order additional ones. I actually have a total of four of the trays, because so I seem to always have one set or so in the dishwasher and um, another one ready to go. Also, the drip tray at the bottom, you can order more of those. Uh, and then I love this feature that you can get in there and really just take that door off and clean it all up, get all of the little crumbs out of the nooks and crannies, and then it just snaps right in place, and you're good to go. So air fry, bake, roast, rotisserie, heat, and dehydrate. So we're going to go to dehydrate it. Dehydrate it automatically goes to f uh, four hours at 130 degrees. So I just push that. And I can change the time so I'm kind of just making this up as I go so we'll do about 10 hours and 
just push the button. This is where I can change the time on that. I have done up to 140. I've seen a couple different recipes that have that. So we'll crank it up, see if that maybe speeds it up a little bit. And I push it and there we go. If I wanted to look at it, there is a little light button. I'm sure if that really helped that you can see that that well, but there you go. Anyway, that is how easy it is to make your own fruit roll-ups with any combination of fruit that you so desire. I am thinking I'm gonna like the combination of pineapple and raspberry, and I will let you know as it finishes up. All right, we'll, oh, one other thing. Okay, I moved it back to the island, and look, I actually still had quite a bit of the puree left, and really that is only just the fruit. I forgot to add honey, actually. The recipe always calls for a little bit of honey. Oh, well, we'll see how, how it goes without it. Anyway, this is just raspberries and um, the pineapple. So love this guy. This was a new addition that came in about a season after the release of the Deluxe Cooking Blender, and it's called the Long Skinny Scraper, and it literally helps get everything in and out of that bowl. So I'm going to pause it again. I'm going to go get water to the three cup mark which is right here and then I will add one little pump of dish soap and come right back okay so I added just tap water I did give it a quick little rinse but you'll see it's not perfectly clean by any stretch of the imagination and I am just going to set it to heated wash and it will be 140 degrees. So tap water, it'll actually tell me what the tap water was and it was cold, so I'll bet it's gonna be low, 61. So it's gonna do that. And then it's going to just sit and heat up and every few minutes or so, until it gets to close to that 140, it'll kind of just keep stirring and mixing it up. But it's just sitting there getting all nice and hot and happy. And then it'll wash all by itself in about two and a half minutes. And then I just give it a quick rinse again under the sink and it is done. So absolutely love this guy. I'm going to try a new soup recipe. I meant to do it last week when it was a little bit chillier, but it's a yellow squash. So I'll try and come back during the week and show you that. All right. Bye for now.